On this channel, we are going to start basically doing beers from different countries. And this is the first video we've done in, what, about a year now? It's, it's been roughly a year, um, and we just kind of decided to get back on it. And instead of just doing random off the wall beers we're just going to try beers from different countries because we found a, a badass vape and beer store not far from the house so we're and they i mean they sell beers from fucking literally everywhere <clears throat> so our country of choice today is going to be germany Right, so, uh, which beer you guys want to start out with? Well, I've got them in order from most alcohol to least alcohol. Let's try the mm -hmm. most one first. By the time we get to the last one, I most think alcohol. Kind of it's called a uh, Vian Stefaner. That's a really Vetus. long. That's a really <clears> long <throat> name. Vian Stefaner Vetus. It's a uh, Vian Stefan Germany. Where are they going with these names? It's a 7.7% alcohol, and it was imported by Total Beverage Solution. It's so, really cloudy looking, though. It's a that, wheat beer. Yeah. Oh, that's not oh. good. That's going really to be bad. <laughs> <laughs> I've had wheat beers before. They don't sit well. You've never had a German wheat beer. Why in some bottles? True, true. So it's a uh, white bock. A white beer. No, bison. That is wheat. Oh, wheat beer. Yes. Okay. <coughs> I don't know why I thought that meant that meant white. I don't know, but some German words sound like English. Yeah, I know. All right. So the uh, Vines to Fonder Vitas. Shit's two nineteen a bottle. Holy shit! Pop the top again. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! Don't sniff it. Don't sniff it. Ooh, it smells like the crack of somebody's ass. <laughs> <laughs> that smells good. That is really, really, it really, really does. It really, it really does smell good. It's a, that is a very light beer. Holy uh, shit. Creamy looking, too. <clears throat> it looks, um, you can definitely tell it's wheat. It looks like what I peed. It's got a really good head on it. It's helpful that we got somebody knows how to pour this shit. It yeah, definitely tastes, it smells fermented. You can smell the yeast in it. It's it's got, <clears throat> in a way, it's got kind of a cereal like taste on or smell on it. That's actually not bad. That really good flavor. And you know what? I just had donuts, so all sweetness or oh anything my God. that has to do with sweet. It's really it's sweet. Is it? I it is taste. really sweet. I can't taste it. I had a donut. It is. Though. It's very sweet. It's like, it's almost like it didn't completely ferment all the sugar out of it. You but know, the yeast eats the sugar and turns it into alcohol. You know, normally, I'd be like making faces and shit if I, it's like, it's good. No, not really. But no, this is really good. That is a really good fucking beer. It kind of tastes it's, a little frothy. It's it's definitely frothy. It's very very carbonated. It's aerated. I'm gonna I'm I'm guessing you do not want to chug this beer. This is a sipping beer. <laughs> yeah, very definitely. So. This is a. Uh, I just got home from work. I'm gonna kick back, watch some TV, and drink a few cold ones. Right, right. This it is, actually has a little bit of a like a tingling in your it does. Yeah, it does. I, I noticed that mm -hmm. a second ago. I was about to say that. And about even as strong of alcohol content as this has, what do we say? 7.7. 7. 7. Yeah, 7.7% 7. alcohol. You don't taste any of the alcohol in you it. You really don't. And that's what I like about this is because, <clears> you know, when you get like these mainstream beers, you can taste the alcohol in them after so many or after so many sips or whatever. Or, or it's or right something like Smirnoff or. Uh, Mike's yeah, hard or something tastes, like that. You drink like, two of them and it's like drinking lemonade with a shot of mm -hmm. Everclear. Right, right. You don't, it just, it, just, this doesn't have that. Why is the fun of it? To you wow. guys, this is a damn good beer. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. Mm -mm. At all. I was almost 
expecting to, you know, take a sip and actually not like it at all. I thought I I don't like most beers. No. Me personally, I just don't like cloudy beers. You know, right, usually because right. that that usually means they're unfiltered and they left all the sediment, the dead yeast, and all yeah, that in it. And I did notice that the bottom of that bottle was a little bit darker than the rest of it, so there might be. Um, it's a little yeasty. Yeah, it's a little yeasty, but I mean, <clears throat> it's. I mean, either way, it's not bad. That's a very, it's, very good beer. It really is. I will definitely be buying more of this. That, yes, that's really good. Oh, it's definitely different. In a good it's way. got a crisp finish. Does it? Let me finish it off this. <clears throat> it's a little bit more bitter on the finish, but you get more flavor out of it. It's so sweet. Oh, yeah, it is bitter. Yeah, it bit. is. Remember, I got the, the bottom of the barrel. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, the finish is not too good. I'm sorry. That's fucking good. good. That is a good beer. Must might be the donut I had a minute ago, taking all the sweetness out of it or whatever. That's but possible that, too. That, that's so that. Ooh. Damn. I'm that impressed. Was a, I I think. Vine Stefano Vitas. One out of ten. I'd give it at least a, a nine. Yeah, I I'll, I'll agree with that. I'd give it a nine. I'd have to give it like maybe as far as beers I've drank. Probably about, about nine, nine and a half. Mm, so, so, congratulations that's, to that's uh, one of the total beer. That's yeah, de definitely congratulations to yeah. because I don't drink beer very often. And we have a uh, we have another one by uh, by Stefaner. They actually did this one in collaboration with Sierra Nevada. So they had some American help with this one. That's Still. Still brewed under the uh, German purity law. And um, um, this one is called Vine Stefaner Braupock. It is still a, um, a yeasty beer. Looks so darker, it's cloudy. It's cloudy. It looks darker, though. It does look darker. So that might be the bottle, too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the bottle. <clears throat> the yeasty beers are going to be in a brown tan bottle. Yeah, but even it when that smells almost the exact same as the other one. It has a lot less pungent smell. Yeah, it's oh, not as it's not as sharp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's more smooth. The smell is smooth. That, that's like yeah, you can tell that's oh, it's about the same. It looks, the same yeah, kind of brew. About the same color and everything. So <clears throat> there's the head. It's got, really it's, thin, um, it's got really thin head. Yeah, it it's a, it's a, it's got a good uh, thickness to it. That is actually quite a bit darker than the last one. That's what I mean. That's what I was thinking. Cause you look at it, yeah, that's a lot um, darker. The what? empty bottle. Now that we poured everything out of it, the uh, actual empty bottle, no smell whatsoever. I don't know what I smell. I can still smell it. I can still smell, but it's, it's not. I mean, of course, it's, it's not um, really strong. It's gonna be right in it. It's got a similar smell to it. It's got a little bit more of a bitterness. Uh, the smell is a little bit more bitter than the last. Um, you can definitely tell that it's a little, it's a little thick on the thick side. It's a little side. creamier. It is. It's a lot. It is actually a lot thicker than the last beer. The the yeah. head is a lot thicker. Yeah. It sticks. Oh, yeah. It, it lingers. Yeah. No. Um, it's still a pretty brew. I mean, it's got I a mean, nice it's, golden. I, to me, it's a, it's gorgeous. This is like awesome right here. This looks amazing. I can't wait to take a sip of it. I really can't either. This is um <clears throat> six percent alcohol. Six percent. That's it. Six percent alcohol. That's still pretty good for a beer. Yeah, it is actually. This is um. That's it. That's it. I'm used to drinking like this. Bavarian style beer. Oh. Oh my god. That's Not as sharp as the last one. Uh -uh. It's got a little bit more of a bitterness though. You got, yeah. It's got a bite at the end of that. Yeah, it's definitely got an after bite. But I mean, it's still fucking amazing. The, the initial taste though is like, I don't know how to describe that. On the XL, you can kind of taste the yeast. But it's more of a, a crushed wheat yeah. Yeah. finish. 
Yeah, that, actually, yeah, that, that does describe it. It's like they took the, uh, <clears throat> it's like they took the cracked wheat straight off of the uh, stone mill. And it's not a malt. No. It reminds me of a malt beer, malt I beverage. Know. It kind of reminds me of a malt beverage. It's got that little bit of a taste. Yeah. But instead of infusing it, they brew it together. Yeah. And they brew it together and ferment it all together and then and get that, <coughs> and get that flavor <coughs> yeah and then instead of filtering it out they leave it yeah it's, it's definitely good I'm gonna say this Ooh. one's probably gonna be another eight and a half to nine I might give this one a seven because this that, that, that tastes horrible well, I like it I'm a little bit closer with Nick I'm gonna give it about a seven and a half only because it's more of, it's more so on the bitterness yeah. side, and if I think if they would have took and filtered it, yeah, at least once took some of that. to get some of that extract out, <clears throat> yeah, I think that would have gave it a better flavor. So I, I think I have to give this about a seven. If I'm not mistaken, don't hold me a hundred percent to this, but. I'm thinking under the uh, German purity law, they're not allowed to filter it. But. <clears throat> well, guys have turned down. See how it finishes. What about it, you? It's got now, the exact same finish as the other one. Let me let, let me say something. Does it not have like a little bit of an orange peel taste to you? That's what I, I was got. thinking of That's that. why I thought. An orange peel? Because <clears throat> you know, if you ever take and bite into an orange peel, you get that mm -hmm. bitter. That bitter, yeah. sharp, acidic. Yeah. yeah. Flavor, taste. Almost like a, uh, what is that, blue moon? Kind of like, because it, it's Bavarian. Yeah. But no, it's Belgium. Belgium yeah. is uh, blue moon. This yeah. is Bavarian. Um... And it's definitely got that citrusy note to it. <clears throat> it does have a citrus taste, a citrus flavor. Honestly, I don't um, know about y'all, but you buy it for orange peel, that's nasty stuff. So, I think it has that little bit of an orange peel finish. It does. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, I'm going to try though. I'm going to get I'm try it down this thing. If you can't finish it, I will be glad to finish that for you. Hey, you do that one, I do that a seven, because the initial taste is why it's a seven. But that bitterness at the end, it just overpowers the entire See, I personally, taste. I personally like I the bitterness. Okay. It's, it's an acquired taste. I, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind to drink this every once in a while. Right. No, it's definitely not This an isn't all the time beer. Um, That's more like a uh, celebration. You're out with the family watching a parade and some dude's walking out, passing out beers. And look at the label. Label is awesome. I love that label. It's it's beautiful. Man, there's a fucking bear. You know you know you know where that that picture is being depicted from, right? Russia. Sure. When you when you think of a brown bear, you think, you of, think of Russia. Actually, I, I always thought of Montana when I heard when I uh. I mean. Saw it because <clears throat> I used to drive over the road, and when I drove over the road. Nevada, Montana, Idaho, all of them look similar. Especially yeah. Nevada. That, but that, this right here reminded me of Montana when I first saw it. Because the first time I ever saw an actual brown bear. Because it's just open. It's open. There's, there's, there's not a lot of people. Out there. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of people. But, I mean, you, you, you see the uh, TV shows, the movies, and the people that, you know, has never been to Russia, you see... The circus bears, the trained yeah. bears, yeah. the big brown bears. Okay, yeah, yeah. That, that's what I kind of yeah, thought Yeah, I of. see what you're getting As soon as yeah. I seen the label, I was like, it's, Russia. It's got yeah. a bear and a damn brown leather coat doing that. So, trained bear. Got so, you. I mean, yeah. Yeah, it makes sense now. Yeah. <laughs> Just for the viewers out there, one more time at the label. That's, you kind of see what we're talking about. But all in all, I'd give it a straight eight. They said seven and a half. Take that now. What? Oh. Yeah, now that we're uh, 
altogether, this is a drinkable beer. I'm not going to say that it's not. Oh, do not chug it. That's why I wanted him to do that. That It's just the bitterness it, in big gulps. It's only on the exhale, on the... On the uh, the aftertaste. The aftertaste that you get, that's the bitterness. As you're drinking it, it's smooth, it's sweet. Yes. Oh my god, when it first goes down, it's like one of the best flavored beers I've ever had. But when you start, when it gets down and it leaves that residue on your tongue, it's so bitter that it's like almost, un, uh, to me, me personally, you know, that, I, I don't like beer. The aftertaste on it, especially after I just chugged what little bit was left. I mean, that was a good, a little bit over a good mouthful. And, I mean, I just went straight down with it. It almost has the bitterness of an IPA. Mm. I, I'm not a fan of IPA. I'm not all. either. I do not like IPAs. I don't like an IPA. No. Now, for the people that are out there that drink IPAs, I mean, more power to you. Uh, everybody has their acquired taste, you know. It just kind of depends on uh, what you what you tried first and what you've acquired a taste for, and um, it just depends on your tongue. All right. So the next beer is. Oh, uh, speaking of, how what was the price on this on this one? Dollar eighty nine. Not $1. bad. Dollar eighty nine. The price on this one is a dollar seventy nine a bottle, that, which isn't bad. Just got less alcohol. In it. Which, I mean, this is just single bottles. I'm sure you could probably save money by buying six packs, but they were no. sold out when we got them. Now, we're out of the wheat beer, right? The cloudy beer. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the next one are just... This one's a dark beer. Yeah. Dunkel is dark in German. Um, so, this one is... Hofbrau uh, München, <clears throat> Hofbrau Dunkel. So, Dunkel... Means it's dark. <clears throat> um, so honestly, you think of a Guinness. I've, I've honestly never even heard of this one before. Think of a Guinness. I think I've seen that model somewhere before. I'm just not sure where. It smells like coffee. Does it smell like coffee? Guinness. It smells just like opening a fresh Guinness. You know what? Okay, think of licorice and yes, smell it. That's what, that's what that smells like. I was about licorice. to say that. Black licorice. What, dude, was what it smells like to me. You know, licorice is like the yes. original licorice. You know? Holy mm -hmm. shit, that's dark. It is a that very, very dark beer. almost looks like a Dr. Pepper. Oh, God, it totally smells <laughs> <out. laughs> It now, smells like Guinness. For it looks you like people Guinness. out there that drink <clears throat> Guinness. This is a, possibly going to be a beer for you. I'm, I know some I, of you Irish, Irishmen out there. I personally love Guinness. It's one of my favorites. It smells like It licorice. smells like a Guinness. You know what? Yeah. What, is that? what does that smell? It, it I can smells tell you like black <clears throat> coffee. For some reason, it smells like bourbon steak sauce. Okay. Okay. Oh no, my no, God, no. it does. It does. It does not. Like bourbon steak it sauce. It kind of has that steak sauce smell, but it's... Think of a coffee filter that's already been brewed. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Co coffee beans. <clears throat> I mean, all in all, it reminds me absolutely of a Guinness. Just, it's a very dark brown instead and of it black. Is, it is, when you look through, it is clear. Yeah. If you hold it to a lot. Yeah, you can see through it. It's it is like, clear. It's kind of like the bottom part of the bottle of, you know, a Dr. Pepper or a Pepsi. You know, you can't see through it when you've got a full bottle, but, but when you, you drink it to the bottle, you can hold it up to the light and kind of see through it. That's it's exactly like how that. this is. So, cheers, guys. Oh my god, that is amazing. That wow. is pretty fucking Holy good. Holy shit, wow, that's dude. fucking good. No bad aftertaste. No. Nothing. That it is goes like down drinking smooth. a sweet you know coffee that, with whipped cream. You know what the aftertaste tastes like? And anybody from the south is going to love this beer because it tastes like a fresh plug. Yeah, it really does. It, it kind of has that like, that bloodhound taste. Yeah, yeah. It it's does. almost. It kind of has that bloodhound chewing tobacco almost, taste. Almost like 
Levi Garrett too. It's yeah, not, almost not, like, not, like not, yeah. Not, not even yeah. It has that Sweet. little bit of a licorice taste. Yeah. Yep. But it's not bitter. It's really. <laughs> it has a little bit of a bitterness, like uh, yeah, a little bit, like yeah. semi-sweet. You know, kind yeah. of coffee. It's like it's balanced. It's balanced. And it has a little bit like of uh, like mocha. Yeah. yeah. Mocha. Yeah. With like a, a whipped cream head. Yeah. I we can see just that. described it in so many different ways. I didn't think this. I, but I, I don't know why. You also got to think all the ways we described it all have their similar qualities. Yes, and I will definitely be <laughs> buying that beer. Absolutely, that is a damn good beer. By far, oh this is the God. best beer we've had tonight. If, that is. If you can incredible. find this, you need to try it. it is, I can drink it and not get sick. I okay. hope you can read that clearly. Like this is easily. There it goes. <clears throat> this is easily an everyday beer. Yeah. If you can find this, try it. Oh my God, this it's, is amazing. It is good. It is good. That is, an, oh my God, that's just, Dark Munich specialty. I think I have a new favorite beer, honestly. I, that it is, is, I really do too. I it really is do imported too. by SNH Independent now, Premium I'm Brands. Sorry. I got the end of the bottle. You get down to the very bottom. I think it happens with every beer that I've ever drank. Would you like me to get the end of the next bottle? Yes. Okay. Okay. The end of the bottle is where all the bitterness is. No sweetness whatsoever. It's about yeah. And I mean, you can't bottom. exactly shake it up. Yeah, you do that. You want to pop the top, and it's gonna go like a champagne bottle. Um, now, I, I do want to point out. This is probably not a beer to let get warm. No. God. I don't know. Most German brews are actually made to drink at room temperature. Well, this one's um, not. This one, no. no. Uh, you, you, this would be like if you went and got a hot coffee and put ice cubes in it you to try to make beer. it uh, like a um, – try to make it an iced coffee, it doesn't work. No. Uh -uh. Because all that water goes in there, and that's what you're going to get. Uh, nasty coffee, you're gonna probably puke, you're gonna, <laughs> yeah. I mean, don't, this is one of, this is one of the few that you're gonna want to keep cool. Put in the freezer for a couple minutes after you get yeah, home. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Don't put ice in your beer, people. Don't, don't do that. Don't do, that. <laughs> don't do it. I had somebody do that before, and that's the only reason why it tasted funny. I can't imagine. <laughs> right? Don't put ice in your beer. If you're gonna if you're gonna do anything to your beer to keep it cold, drizzle a little bit of water on the outside of a mug, put it in the freezer for an hour, wait for it to frost over, then pour your beer in it. Yep, that's just but anyway, back to this beer. This is just absolutely amazing. This is, is this is amazing. I give this a straight up ten out of ten. It this is, is really, incredible. Really good beer. Holy I'm shit, gonna give good. it I'm gonna give it a nine, but that's my ten because every beer everything has a room for improvement. Well yeah. I'm on, I'm but on. in my mind, that's a that's a damn ten. Yeah. 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 That's, that's a, a damn, damn good 10. beer. I'm going to give it a 10 on my scale, and that's saying something. This is incredible. I want you to... Mm. I want you, I want you to God! It finishes good when it's not the end of the bottle, right? I want you to try that. Tell me what, what the difference is. It tastes the same as the rest of it to no, me. No, did not to me. The very end of the barrel tastes like extremely <clears throat> better. Yeah. <coughs> I still give it a 10. I mean, I would do it too, believe me. The end of the barrel ain't going to define the whole beer. I'm sorry. No. All that, right. Oh, my God. That's good. All right. Here we go. This one is $2.35 a bottle. Good God. Now, got nice this is a Pilsner. Um, It's Einbecker. Einbecker. It is. Heron Pils. 4.9% 4, 4 alcohol. The lowest alcohol content beer we've had tonight. It is bottled and made in Einbeck, Germany. Um, now, this is a clear beer. This is like a Heineken. Um, you believe I've never had a Heineken? You're not really missing much. Heineken is not a very good beer. So we this was uh, more of 
Oh, yeah. Established in 1378. Holy shit. Well, they should know what they're doing. Is that 13? Wow. Well, what? It, that is a really old brewery. Yeah. It's not the world's oldest. <clears throat> no. No, not, but, not, no, not by far. But. So, but they do have that there. Yeah, brewed and bottled by Einbecker Brauhaus Ag Einbeck, Germany. Einbeck, Deutschland. He speaks German, so y'all know. I'm not fluent in it anymore. I've lost a lot of what I knew. If you don't use it, you, you lose, lose it. it. Unless, you live, right. unless you live there. So, this being a Pilsner, it's going to be a very bright Very beer. bright, very clear. Um, it's... Just it's, judging it, by the bottle, it kind of has a uh, Coors Light color, well, which I haven't poured it yet. I really believe that it's going to be more like Heineken. Like a Sprite looking color? A Sprite color. And you would be right, sir. It's like, it's almost like a blonde. Oh, well, it's like, it's like a champagne color. Yeah, it's like a champagne blonde. So, there's not much of a head. Not much at all. Wow. Um, it um, is very clear. Uh, um, that's basically no head on my end. So and there is still a lot of beer in this. Here, you, let me see your glass. You think? <laughs> I'm going to distribute this a little bit more evenly because there's a lot of beer left. You think of a Heineken. You think of that Pilsner look, which there's a lot of beers over here in America that are Pilsner, and a lot of people love Pilsner. A lot of people like IPAs. A lot of people like their ambers, and you know, I'm all, there's a lot a big of beer. Of ambers. Amber beers are. Here, grab my glass. Mm. Um, um, let me pour a little bit out now, of that into this. That's not. I exactly didn't think. Either. I did not think for a second that this That's um, German <clears throat> German style Guinness. <laughs> Would would have been good, but oh my god! It smells like a skunk. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so that happened. Smell that shit. You smell the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> that smells gross. That smells awful. Take a long inhale because it gets sweet. Stir wow. around a little bit. Wow. I actually Stir it around smell, a little bit. The longer you inhale on it, the better it smells. Stir it around a little bit and then take a good smell. I wouldn't recommend doing it to a skunk because it's not going to get sweeter the longer you smell a skunk. <laughs> <laughs> now... <clears throat> I know this better. isn't the best way to do it, but I like to get an aroma, and every single one of these beers have a different aroma. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Except for the uh, the first two, Wine and Stoffer, and the um, Wine and Stoffer Braukopt. Yeah. So those two had a similar smell, but they're pretty close to the same uh, recipe. Now the bottles are a little bit of a different shade. Um, they're both brown. Mm -hmm. They are a little bit different. But Same the wine and stuff there is just a little bit darker. You also got a light shine through the other one. But. <clears throat> yeah, the, that one is a little dark. Dude, I just burped and I'm still, like, I'm still tasting the uh, Hofbrau. So, huh. um. If you think of, you know. Your Budweiser. When you hold that up to a light, it kind of has a, a pink hue to it, don't it? That's his finger. If you think of uh, no, I'm looking over here. Oh. Budweiser, Coors Light, um, Bud Light. You know, all of your Pilsners. This is this would be what you you're talking about. Yeah. So I don't know how good y'all can see it on the camera, but um, <clears throat> when you hold this up to a light. It has like a golden pink shade. I just see gold. I see it's a very, very, very light pink into it. Champagne. Yeah. 
I mean, this is almost the exact color of champagne. All right, guys. Well, <clears throat> cheers. Down the hatch. That is smooth. That is, oh my God. Crisp. Yeah. It's like, that's as crisp as biting into a fresh apple. Mm. No aftertaste. No. And I mean, it's a like a little the, bit. <clears throat> you get a little bit of a yeast to come back. <clears throat> oh yeah, that, that, now it's coming back at me. It's now. a little bit of you a little back, bit yeast. That's in. negligible. You put the back of your tongue up if in you, the roof of your I mouth, mean, you'll tell it. This could be an everyday beer. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, easily. Every day. It does not smell all day. Good. It don't smell good. I would don't say smell that. That, no, don't smell don't it. Don't smell it down. I mean, it. It's if it's down. you're you're here to get drunk with us well, i mean yeah shit. but i will say that that's a pretty good beer i'm not big on the flavor because when you swallow it it's like the carbonation's just gone it's like well it doesn't have a throat bite no it no, don't, no at all. not at all and see i like that in a beer as long as it's not overpowering i like that yeah this oh take a big gulp had it this was it was there. Oh, something did that. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> Mouthful? No. No, don't do that. Get you a big sip. Or chug it. That works too. God, that made you know, my whole mouth feel weirdly tasting funny. Yeah. It's fun. I I you, couldn't do a big you, mouthful. You this is definitely another sip of beer. It was fine. That's a sipping beer. Don't, don't, don't. This is definitely another sipping beer. Like, not even a shot. Now time. that. Chug it, you. That uh, half brow dunkle. That half brow dunkle, I easily could have chugged one of those. God dang, dude. I don't know what the hell a mouthful did, but God. I ain't nothing left because I have taste in my mouth all the way around it. This motherfucker's got balls of steel over here. <laughs> Chug it. Fuck. <clears throat> It all goes down the same way. Fuck it. Bottoms up. There you go. It went down easier that time. Yeah. That's weird. That wasn't bad at all. No, nope. because usually I'd be doing this, hungry. It's just got kind of a uh, sharp aftertaste. Oh, God. There. Every time you mention it, stop it. <laughs> <clears throat> it's, a, it's a fairly sharp aftertaste. Everyday beer. Yeah. Absolutely. By far. That's... I, and don't let my I can easily give this one a nine. I'm going to say about an eight and a half. I can... Uh, eight I to can, eight and a half. I, I, I can say the only reason why I'm going to give it an eight is because of the smell. And you can't just drink it any way you want to. You have to sip on it or you're going to pay for it. Oh, yeah. So, but all in all, good beer. Oh, yeah. Great beer. Definitely a good beer. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you know... We all have our opinions. <clears throat> for the German selection of beers... Damn good All job. of these are fucking delicious. They're oh, good. Yeah. The They're taste very profile. good. Yeah, damn the good. taste profiles on all of them is... It's definitely something different. You're not going to oh, yeah. get anything like that in an American brew. That's mm. for damn sure. Um... But you also got to think the Germans have that purity law that's been in since basically the Middle Age. Well, they have they have it on here actually. It's uh, say, fifteen the, sixteen. That's the purity law. Explain the purity law so other people <clears throat> don't know like me. The, what it is. <laughs> there's <laughs> certain things that they can brew, and there's certain yeah. ways they have to brew. Like uh, it has to be only with use, pure water. Yeah. It actually one of these actually explains it. Um, which one is um, it? The purity law basically it's you can only use pure spring water you can only use uh, hops and let me pull it up one of I these mean, has I know it what on it there. is but at the same time it's not like brewed exclusively from water barley malt and hops according to the famous Reinheitsgebot. 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 Purity law 
of 1516. So, um, every beer, in order to be pure, can only be brewed by water, barley malt, and hops. With uh, certain seasonings and stuff like that to give it a kind of a crispness or a bitterness um, in order for, for it to be considered pure. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna point something out. The original German All of these bottles was adopted in 1487. All of these bottles. No, no. Though being different is pretty much uh, pretty close to the same, except for the pills. Um, Brauchuren pills. It is. Uh, I mean, it's green. It's Heineken. It didn't taste like Heineken to me. Did not taste like Heineken. It tasted like Budweiser. It was actually good. Tasted. Budweiser. That is basically the Budweiser of German beers. Uh, to me, it tastes like Golden Sunshine, man. I'm just saying. I mean, that shit was good. Don't get me wrong. That shit was fucking good. Now, the um, this one. The Braukat. It almost tasted like a Blue Moon. Yes, it did because of that citrus uh, uh, flavor. It, that it had, had a citrus bite to it that was unrecognizable in any other beer, and that might be their secret. I think this one right here was my favorite. Yeah, I honestly think, even though I had to downgrade its uh, smell, honestly think the light beer was the best. <coughs> this one right here. I can't pronounce the damn name, so excuse me. Let me see it. Einbecker. Einbecker, yeah. Einbecker, whatever. It's weird, it's, it's weird letters, okay? Einbecker. I graduated high school, damn it. I can't read that. I didn't. <coughs> you didn't? I just spoke German since I was a teenager. That's because you looked it up and learned it. Uh, so, uh, what would be your favorite? Out of all of them? Out of everything we've tried tonight? Yeah. I'd have to say the half rod uncle. That's my second one. I think I think these two run at close race. These two uh, there's, right here. To me, there's no competition. The uh, half brow uncle is, which I'm a dark beer fanatic anyway. I'm like a, I'm a <clears throat> like I'm a huge fan of Guinness, and that had a lot of similar qualities to Guinness. Guinness doesn't taste as good as that though. Is no, it don't. That's. I'm gonna say that's my new favorite beer, honestly. That's fucking amazing. I mean, that Hofbrau Dunkel is just holy shit. See, that's I don't, fucking good. I don't have favorite beers, okay? I just <clears> don't <throat> like the one I like. What I do have favorites of is good old fashioned shine. That's kind of illegal. Speaking of, how about we kick time. this um, you can get video the off with a shot of Jack Daniels? Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. I'll grab the shot glass. I'll sit here and watch you do it. <laughs> that sounded good. Hey, that was a pop and went into the water bowl. <laughs> hey, that was that was the round one. Shit buzzer. happens. That was the final round buzzer. Just All right. So, so uh, just for the uh, dogs walk around funny, it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm going to line these up in front of the camera for a minute just so y'all can see them. I don't know. Best beer ever no, right here. I don't know how good y'all can see all those. Um, Alright, let's take that one back. That one back. Move that one over. I will say that is by far the best beer we've had tonight. That is absolutely amazing. Loved it. Try this and one. That one's good. And this one was probably the second best in my now, opinion. We're going to end this little thing off with everybody's favorite. Oh, Jack Daniels, number seven. Let's take these to the garbage can. Well, 
Look, you see oh, this? That works. Ow. Whoa. Caught it. In a very uncomfortable way. Speaking but we of, it. I know this ain't a gun <laughs> channel. But I was Smith and Wesson. Oh, they don't because SD9 VE. Because alcohol and firearms go hand in hand for some reason. It really don't. That's about 10 minutes. Yeah. You ain't gonna look near me. So I'm gonna have to watch the uh, shot glass out. Yeah. Anybody wanna take a shot with us? Yeah. End this video off with yeah. us? Yeah. Anybody wanna take a shot with that man? Yeah. Really? I don't want to take a shot. Wanna take a shot? Uh, like half a shot? Like a whole shot. Yeah. Like a whole like, shot. Like, look, look. You, you hadn't drank nothing tonight. Oh, you are you love serious? You'll love it. You will love it. We got, we got. We, Jack needs to pop somebody's cherry tonight. Alcohol, Yeah. Jack's gonna pop somebody's cherry tonight. Here we go. Now I do want to say something. Out of those four beers, even with a out. little bit, I like. I have a little bit of a. I know. Don't a don't. Head rush. <laughs> don't you? I do too. And I mean, we none of us actually drank a full beer. It was just like a quarter of a beer. Like, I mean, it's there? not like a drunk. Get your hand out there. Don't focus. I'm focusing it. It's not know. like a. Uh, <clears throat> it's not like a drunk or come nothing. On. It's just. Come on. It's come just on. that smooth, Man. relaxed feeling. Time to be on some TV. Come here. Hey. She's shy. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Come on. We're going to get in here and we all going to do a shot for y'all. That way we can all end this video all <clears throat> together. I hadn't done a shot in a long time, so I'm probably going to chase mine, honestly. So. I'm going to do mine straight. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm doing mine straight. I'm yeah. Doing... Oh, yeah. That'll put some hair on your titties. This is the shit that I <laughs> this, is, this is what I like right here. No. Hey. If we all can't end this video off with a bang for y'all, hey, there's something wrong. I'm going to have to get out my pistol. Yep. I'm going to have to put a bang out. I think it. we need to do this on every video. Yeah. End it off with something hard. Cause I got so a bottle we of Jim enough, Black we don't, we don't have enough. Sh there's only one shot glass. We're, I'm going to measure shots out in Portland. We, got, we don't have enough glasses. Hey, Tyler, we need two more, two more glasses. Yeah, go get two more glasses. <laughs> Do you want to do a full shot glass? Because that's a shot and a half. No. You hold your man's Just hand. do a, a regular oh, shot. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's a lot. Goddamn, just throw them <laughs> at us. Hell, you ain't even been damn drinking. That's a hell. Since when? This shit's so cold it's steaming. <laughs> About like a yeah. little bit more. Oh, yeah. That'd be fine. That's, that's more than that. Oh, yeah. That's only a half of this shot. I don't want to have a list. I don't want to push. If you had a bucket, you can handle it. If you can stomach vodka, yeah, you can handle this. If you can stomach vodka, you can handle any shit. You never had any fireball either? Fireball is smooth. Fuck fireball. I've had enough of that shit the last week three months. I was waiting on that. I was waiting on it. Yeah, that's making it smooth. <clears throat> well, for you. All right, let's pass out the the hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> All right. There you go. Oh, Joseph. Now, if you're going to, uh, if my whiskey gets warm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Come on, there, buddy. <clears throat> oh, you gonna down to England afterwards? Uh, he's getting a chaser when he's there. That's a good idea. Yeah, I'm not. I don't need no chaser. I don't need no chaser. I might want to one. Chase it with a beer? Yeah, we'll pass the Coke bottle around for a little bit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. I remember, we promised him we'd give him a shout out. Mm. Good. Uh, good. Uh, good. Uh, Smell it. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, after we're done this shot, I need one of y'all to run out to the car. And there's a little flyer for him right, right there. Here. Is it? Awesome. Hell yeah. All right, we promised them we'd do it because they're a fucking amazing brew and vape shop. All right. All right, guys. So, here's the y'all. 
And here's to us coming back and coming out strong for you guys and giving you some quality entertainment on us getting drunk as fuck and drinking and everything and giving y'all a little bit of a laugh. So hopefully y'all enjoy it. So let's down this shot, guys. That's so smooth. Don't be afraid. It's not bad. <clears throat> the fact that I've been drinking since I was 12 is irrelevant. Yeah, right. <clears throat> and she looks like she's about to die. It's got a bar and kick to it. It does. Am I the only one who didn't taste it? I didn't I have did. to. Yeah, nothing to taste it. <laughs> I didn't I have to taste it. That's because you know, your throat don't have no sense or anything. I don't want to ever taste it. Y'all want to split what's left? Yes. Y'all have fun with that. <laughs> you ain't gonna do no more. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Here, hear me again. It's been a while. I used to be able to drink that stuff right out of the bottle. Ooh, yeah, right. I, did I used to, yeah. It's been a while. But no, I don't. I don't mix a lot of liquor with beer. Yeah, y'all finish that. You didn't like that, did you? That's for you. Go ahead. Yeah, warm. You ain't gonna do none. You bought it. You bought it. You bought it. Enough going up now. Huh? Ain't enough to count for anything. Oh Lord. Hey. No. Come on. I need to start drinking more. God <laughs> oh, dang, that kicked my tail. You feeling the leech? Dude, my whole body's just heated up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not feeling drunk or nothing. I'm not even tipsy. But that just I, my whole body just the temperature in the in the room just got The hot. only thing is from that beer I had that little bit of a kind of a tingly in the back of my head. Yeah. That's, that's about, about it. That's, that's about, about all I got. Mm -hmm. My tolerance is a lot more beer than I thought it was. Till you hit the Jack Daniels anyway. No, I don't even <laughs> As soon as that settles <laughs> in. Oh, that's going to hit that. We're going to feel good then. Well, guys. That's not a frame. Anyway, for so our, our, we beer, our them beer we destination. We okay, promised them we would. Good, good, good. <laughs> so oh, we man. promised them we'd do it. And... I've got to say, this is one of the best vape shops and one of the best beer shops I've ever been to in my life. Absolutely. <clears throat> Unfortunately, um, I didn't get to go today, but I will be there in the future. <clears throat> they're right over here, and if you're in Jacksonville, Alabama, check these guys out. They're or, absolutely fucking amazing. Or anywhere in the general area. Yeah, if yeah. you're around the general area of Jacksonville, Anniston, anywhere around there, Check these guys out. They're fucking amazing. The guy that owns it is absolutely awesome. Um, I mean, the dude, I've got to say the dude really knows his shit when it comes to vape and beer. And they're also a hell of a homebrew store. That's another thing we're going to get into on this channel is the homebrewing. Yeah, yeah. Definitely going to bring that oh, in. Oh, that's going to be. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. Also, um, if you are into the homebrew and they sell the ingredients and the supplies yeah. to do your own homebrewing, so definitely check them out. It's yeah, home. They sell the ingredients. They sell the supplies. Um, I mean, anything you could need for homebrewing, anything, just about anything you want to drink. They have over 300 beer to choose from anything from local to international beers exactly, you can choose yeah. from them um, and uh, it is Bruin Bay down there in Jacksonville Alabama so they're, they're they give you good quality service they're friendly they'll support and help you if you're a smoker and you want to go in and you want to you know get into vaping try to quit and better your life and better yep. your health Those they the will help to. you to get exactly what you need absolutely i yeah. mean this is just all around an amazing shop they're amazing people they're good people they work with you they help you out they were they're friendly um, they're you friendly. go in you talk to them you ask them and they'll sit there and they'll talk to you and help you through whatever you need to know. absolutely and I mean, all in all, just walking in the door, you're straight walking into just a very laid back atmosphere, somewhere you could chill yes. and just, you, these people, you could just hang out and bullshit with them from open to close. And yes. I mean, you'd never get tired of the place. Exactly. And this is the place right here, Brewing Vape. I love these guys. They're amazing. I mean, these guys are just absolutely awesome. Um, turn it around. 
There's their website, brewingvape.com. These guys are absolutely awesome. If you're around... Uh, there's the address. Yeah, there's the address. Um, if you're around them, go visit them. Stop by, pay them a visit. They're great people. They'll, you know, I mean, it's just a little small hometown store. And, I mean, that, you know, that gives them a lot of credit. And for... Or if you couldn't really read the card, because you know sometimes it's hard to I see see. something on a video like that with words, but uh, we're going to put the address and phone number and everything in the call in, in, in our, the description yeah, in the description down below. So hit them up, man. It don't matter how far away you if you think you live close enough, then go for it. I mean, it's worth the trip. Most of the beers that we drink on this channel are going to come from there. Exactly, yeah. and if they have, they don't have anything that you're looking for. Don't be afraid to ask him. They will work with you and try to do their best to get that in there for you. Um, they're nothing but helpful. They're very kind people. They're very nice people. I mean, we sat in there today, and I had a conversation with them for about an hour. About an hour. hour and a half. I'm, we were there for a while, and yeah. they're not in a hurry to get you out of that store. Mm -mm. They want you to take their, your time to find exactly what you want and exactly <coughs> the time that you want to do it. You're not rushed when you go in this store. And a lot of times when you go into certain stores, no matter where you go, you feel rushed. Like, yeah. I need to get in and get out. Yeah. And, like, they'll sit there and watch you the whole time they're in there, or you're in there, and you just get this overbearing presence that they just want you to come in, spend your money, and get the hell out. Exactly. These people are not like that. I mean, you know, like I said, it's just an absolutely laid-back, easy-going atmosphere. Right. You know, and the store is clean. You know, a lot of stores, a lot of vape shops you'll go in, and there's wire and tools and shit just laying around everywhere. They're well organized. They have, even down to their beers and wines, they have their beers organized by style, you know, by what kind of beer it is and what country it came from. Like all of right. our German beers that we tried to not were in one section. It was very easy to pick them out. You know, it's just, just they even by have far it, one of the most incredible stores I've ever been into. They even have it in order by certain types of beers. Yeah. Uh, certain countries, um, they have it to where, you know, if you're looking for an IPA, all of them IPAs are right there right by each other. Yep. They have them labeled in, you know, uh, color-coordinated uh, stickers. You can look for the labeling on the top to where uh, orange sticker is IPA or pink is, you know, your Pilsner you look for that and it's easy to find everything it's easy to navigate um they have their uh cooled beers in the cooler they have their single beers which is what we got today um and you know, they're they're easy to come out though if you can't find anything that will help you Talk find it them. for them uh so yeah give them give them a chance go out give them a shout out give them a look Tell them where you heard them from, from the Backwoods Beer Guys. Um, and, yeah, I mean, and for them people that don't have, if you're local and you don't have uh, sales on Sunday, they do. So, definitely go give them a, a look, try them out. Uh, I promise you won't be disappointed. If there's a beer that you're trying to find somewhere, I guarantee you, they got it. Most likely, yeah. Um, I, I, I've been in a situation where I was trying to find a certain beer. It just came out. I tried it once. I wanted to go buy me another, you know, six pack or 30 case or whatever. Couldn't find it anywhere. I wish I would have known about this place back then. Yeah, same here. I don't know how long these guys have been open, but. <clears throat> You know, if we'd have had something actually, like they've a, been they have been open since 2014. Really? They're, they're I found, wish I'd have known about them back then. They, 2014. I started using them in 2015. 
and uh, they they are one of the best best places that I've been to. I'll agree with that. So I'm, guess, so I'm guessing they're fairly new then. So they're they're fairly new. And, uh, four uh, years. I see them sticking around a lot longer. Oh, now. They yeah. they will be around for a long while. But I mean, their uh, homebrew supplies, the selection they have is just incredible. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I said, that's definitely because of this store. That's definitely something we're going to start getting into on this channel is our homebrewing. Yeah. <clears throat> so. And another thing is um, on this channel that we we. Uh, <coughs> we kind of talked about and want to do is uh, uh, donations to our charities for the uh, local local fire departments, police departments and, um, and all our military. We support all our military and uh, any kind of banded uh, people in our communities. Um, not only in our community but you know uh, nationwide. Um, we support all y'all. And if y'all are watching right now and y'all want to get a part of it, uh, just, you know, leave us a comment below and, you know, we can do live streams, kind of try, try to, uh, try to pick up in our community to where we can do better for, you know, our military and our police department, our fire department, because they don't get funded enough no, for they what don't. they do. I mean, if you have, if you think you can go out there and be a paramedic or a firefighter or a policeman and deal with shootings and murder and the you think you can you think you can stomach that and heart that and <clears throat> uh, be a sane person after that you're not a human it takes a strong individual to be able to live life after seeing that after seeing the shit that our firefighters or, and medics and military have to go through and our police mm -hmm. It, or even going to war for what you believe in, being free and having your freedom to do what you, you know, pretty much what you want. Yeah. I mean, just like all three of us at one point were firefighters. Yes. So. So, I mean. I almost got blue at one time. Yeah. My wife is in the military. She's in the army. That was a hell of a call. When we were standing on five thousand pounds of black powder. Yeah. yeah. So definitely, <clears throat> um, if if you're interested in uh, helping us support our, uh, our firefighters, firefighters police, police, military, EMS. paramedics, you know, <clears throat> let us know. To uh, give us ideas for what you want for live streams. Uh, different kinds of videos uh, you know whatever whatever we can do to yeah. entertain you guys <coughs> and let us get further into this uh, YouTube to be able to you know once we start making money off of this the proceeds are going to go to uh, police fire EMS and militaries you know all around the country and I promise we'll get it out the studio eventually yeah eventually but first mm -hmm. we gotta make sure we get our you know, like, like they said, local fire department, police department, you know, military, make sure they get taken care of. Absolutely. Because that's our main priority is making sure that we get give them what they deserve for their heroism and everything that they do for us. Exactly. You know, they're putting their lives on the line for us, so this channel is just kind of our way of giving back to them. Right. Because, I mean, we all know <laughs> that they... They lack on equipment. They lack on the supplies that they need, whether it be ammunition or uh, upgraded weaponry or even protection. Yeah, it, you know, there might be a fire department out there somewhere that needs a set of uh, jaws of life to take on wrecks with them. You know, stuff like that. We'll, you know, we'll help fund them. Without that, <clears throat> that can cost somebody their life. Yeah. I've been on many wrecks where we've had to use the uh, jaws of life to pry somebody out of a car. Or, right. hell, we've, the fire department, one of the fire departments I've owned, I've been on two. <clears throat> um, both volunteer, of course. But um, there, we actually ran a wreck one night where we had to use the jaws of life to uh, jack the car up and get the door out of the ground of where the people could open it and get out. So, yeah. I mean, you know, 
you know, if a local fire department is lacking in that department, then, you know, we'll raise the money through this channel and donate it to them so they can get the equipment they need. Right. And if you are a part of uh, one of them uh, departments or a police department or uh, even in the military and y'all are in need of stuff. Let us know. Let us know. Put it in the uh, comments. We can... We can do what we can. We can do fundraisers. We can do live streams. We'll do what we can to raise that money for that department. Absolutely. Uh, let us know where you're from. Let us know the department you're at. Um, like, like he said, leave it in the comments below, and you know, we'll do our part to help you. Well, guys, we might need to wrap this right. this one has up. been uh, Matt, Brandon, and Nick. It's Matt, Brandon, Nick, Backwoods Beer Guys. Remember, throughout the week, when you come home from work, have a cold one for us.